Hello darlings, I want to say first, don't panic. I know you're probably not used to seeing me in front of the camera these days because I either hide behind my nails or I just go around with PJs and no makeup on in my vlogs. But I wanted to say a huge thank you and show how grateful I am for all of your support, for all my old subscribers and my huge influx of new subscribers. So I wanted to do you a bonus video and this has come about basically because I was in London last week and doing lots of events with YouTube and I hadn't worn heels for two months after I had my accident on holiday and I wore heels and my feet were in pieces. When I was chatting with my friend Dry Shampoo Debbie on the Sunday before I went home I said I definitely need some London shoes for when I'm going up to London and something a little bit fun and I said I really wanted something like Converse but I've never really been a sort of Converse girl. I want to be and then I put them on and I just just look like a Muppet. And then I remembered seeing once upon a time, and I don't know how long ago it was, some holographic converse. So when I was on the train on the way home, I googled it and sure enough, I found some. And here they are. Now these are, look at them. Oh my God, they're amazing. Of course there's two. But me being me, what you probably don't know about me is through the years, I love to bling things up and to customize items. Over five years ago, now please excuse these, they're really grubby. I didn't clean them after the last time I wore them. I crystallized these shoes. I saw a pair of Gina shoes and they were like one and a half thousand pounds and I absolutely loved them, but there was no way I could afford them. So I bought a pair of 11 pound shoes off eBay and then spent about 120 pound on Shrosky crystals and just crystallized them all and they were beautiful. So I'm going to do the same for you today with some Converse but I want to show you how to do it because I'm going to do it a little bit differently because I want to make these look super sparkly like unicorn shoes to go with my unicorn skin room. So I'm using smaller crystals than normal and AB crystals because we don't want to take away from the beautiful hollow. Isn't that amazing? I'm going to be adding some crystals to the tips of the shoes but it's going to be super special and I want to show you so you can do it with your own Converse at home or if you really want to get hold of these because I think there's only one place that sells them, which is where I got them. Then there's full links in the description of where you can purchase these actual shoes, but I'm not sure if they're actually limited edition or not, so I take a look quickly if I were you, I grabbed them while I could. Basically, I'm going to turn them from this to this. And it is really easy. You only need a few products and it actually doesn't cost that much either. The crystals cost me about £20. The adhesive was about £1.65. And the rest of the products I already have because I use them for doing nails. So if you'd like to see more of me doing these sorts of videos where I'm in front of the camera and show you how to customise some of your items or bling things up, then please let me know in the comments section below because I always like to listen to what you guys want. So let's get on with it. We're going to begin by taking our shoes and a nail file of either a 180 or a 240 grit or some fine sandpaper. And we're just going to take the shine off the tip of the toes on the white section. And this is just to help the crystals to stick afterwards. There's no need to be too rough. This really is just to take that initial shine off the tip of the shoe. Once you've removed the shine, you're just going to need some isopropyl alcohol or rubbing alcohol and some lint-free pads. Soak the pad with the alcohol and then wipe it over the toe of the shoe to remove any dust or dirt. I'm going to be using Gem Tech Adhesive, which is what I used to do my other Swarovski shoes five years ago. I was planning on using E6000 because so many people do online, but in actual fact when I got the packet it says it contains a cancer causing agent and can cause kidney damage so I thought that's out. Then I'm going to be using a crystal katana, an orange wood stick, approximately 360 SS12 Swarovski crystals for a size 5 shoe and a couple of mixed size crystals. We're going to begin by applying the crystals rounded like a horseshoe shape around the front of the toe and then across the top of the cap. Just apply a few centimetres of adhesive at a time and then once you've done that you can just pick up your crystal katana and your crystals and start to pop them on. It really is that simple. When you've almost finished going around the toe, you may find that there's a small gap that's not big enough for one of your normal SS12 crystals. And that's where we're going to use our various size, just pop a smaller one in. And then we're just going to continue by going along the top.
Now we've got the basic outline, we're just going to work inside that and keep applying our crystals around the curved toe. It took me about 180 crystals per shoe and about 25 minutes to do each shoe. So with 400 crystals and one hour, you could complete a pair. When you've finished applying the crystals, we're going to take a lint-free pad and some isopropyl alcohol and we're just going to gently stroke over the top of the crystals. This is to remove any sticky glue, but we're going to do this carefully and only towards the tips so we don't move any of the crystals out of the way. Now we're going to leave the shoes to dry for 24 hours for the crystals to be completely and utterly adhered. So I've left the shoes for a few hours to dry quite a bit. They're not going to be fully dry for 24 hours, but I wanted them to dry enough so that I could show you how sparkly they are because the glue has started to go almost completely clear. And here they are, and they are so sparkly. They are just amazing. And if you give this a go, please let me know. Remember, you don't have to have Converse to do it. It's just that Converse tend to have the white tips on the toes. You can do it with any sort of shoes you want. I choose Swarovski crystals. I can never say it properly. Schwaros, Schwar, Schwaroski, Schwaroski. I choose those crystals because they are actually crystal, they're not resin or plastic and they are just so extra sparkly on the tips, you can just see them shining there in the light. Let me know if you give this a go and let me know what you think of my hollow converse because my husband thinks I'm really really sad for getting them and he just laughed and laughed and laughed and I was like oh my god they're like unicorn shoes. So, obviously I just wanted to make them a bit extra sparkly. You can remember if you do want to get your hands on these shoes, the link is in the description down below, along with links to all of the products. Thank you very much for watching, and please let me know if you'd like to see more videos like this from me, or just tell me not to bother and stick to nails. Whatever, let me know.